What's up? It's time for painting. Mikey Windsor, what are we working on today? Teapots. What's so great about teapots, Mikey? How come you paint teapots all the time? They symbolize our ability to kind of pause time. Our ability to both relax and be alert at the same time. Tea time is something that doesn't require any skill, but it does require patience. And to really get the best out of a nice experience of tea uh, doesn't need much. There's always some kind of a limit of what painting can do and what it can accomplish in that it's kind of great to expand and do as complicated and as diverse things as possible, but it's also good to just be at peace with what you can accomplish in a day or what you can accomplish in a city. And I think the teapot has kind of become both a ritual for me to slip time think about something again and again, and, uh, and it's also become a mode of practice. It kind of lets me know what colors I'm interested in that day. It kind of lets me respond to maybe the rainier weather today, or the brighter, sunnier day yesterday, or maybe even, you know, thoughts of mortality one day, or sometimes, you know, companionship, or isolation, or whatever. But Bringing it all back to the teapot really gives me an anchor. It gives me an anchor not only in my my physical depiction, but in my imagination that I, I do have to go somewhere different each time. I do have to do a different one. And it's both rewarding But it, it kind of has a taint of boredom that it's the same thing over and over again. And I think being content with not trying to over outdo every time is an important part of understanding peace. And I think that peace is critical to being able to care about what you're doing. So I'm not done painting teapots, I've got a lot of more ideas I want to work with. So the next question is, when you guys want to do tea time again? Ah.